1.7 Part 2, Fractions, Multiply and Divide. First, to reduce a fraction, find a number that goes into the top and bottom. 12 over 40 equals 3 over 10, because 4 goes into both 12 and 40. 4 goes into 12 3 times, 4 goes into 40 10 times. Okay, this is also called simplifying a fraction. Always simplify fractions if they can. 10 over 15. 5 goes into both 10 and 15. 5 into 10 equals 2. 5 into 15 equals 3. To multiply, multiply straight across. Two parentheses side by side equals multiply. 2 over 3 times 5 over 7. 2 times 5 is 10. 3 times 7 is 21. What about 2 over 3 times negative 5 over 7? Think of that as a positive for the first fraction times a negative second fraction equals a negative. And multiply the numbers. 2 times 5 and 3 times 7. Sometimes a fraction reduces after you multiply. Always reduce a fraction if a number goes into the top and bottom. 2 over 3 times 9 over 7. 2 times 9, 18. 3 times 7, 21. 3 goes into 18 6 times. 3 goes into 21 7 times. You can also use cross multiplication when something goes into top and bottom. 2 over 3 times 9 over 7. Okay, this is the same problem. Notice there's a 3 on bottom and a 9 on top. 3 can go into 9. 3 can also go into 3. So we're going to cross multiply. 3 goes into 9 3 times. So cross out the 9 and change it to 3. On bottom, 3 goes into 3 1 time. Cross out the 3 and change it to a 1. Multiply what you have. 2 times 3 equals 6. 1 times 7 equals 7. This is the same problem as the last slide, and you'll notice we got the same answer. Okay, You get the same answer whether you multiply and then reduce or if you cross multiply. Same thing, same answer. To multiply by a whole number, put the whole number over 1 because 5 over 1 equals 5. So 3 over 4 times 5 is 3 over 4 times 5 over 1. 3 times 5, 15. 4 times 1, 4. To divide, use the memory tool, KFC, which stands for keep the first fraction, flip the second fraction, change to multiplication. Okay. Sometimes people say something else, but let's say change to multiplication so we know we're multiplying after we flip it. So 1 over 3 divided by 2 over 5. We're dividing, so we're going to keep the first fraction. Flip the second one. So 2 over 5 flips to 5 over 2. And then multiply straight across. 1 times 5, 5. 3 times 2, 6. What about negative 3 over 2 divided by 2 over 3? First thing, don't cross out the 3's. Don't cross out the 2's because we're not multiplying here. Okay, We're dividing, which means keep the first fraction the same. Flip the second one. So 2 over 3 flips to 3 over 2. A negative times a positive equals a negative. 3 times 3 on top is 9. On bottom, 2 times 2 is 4. Negative 5 over 2 divided by negative 3 over 4. So we're dividing. The first fraction stays the same. The second fraction flips. So. 3 over 4 changes to 4 over 3. The signs don't change. The signs of the number, the negative, that doesn't change. So multiply. A negative times a negative equals a positive. On top, 5 times 4 equals 20. 2 times 3 equals 6. Then reduce because 2 goes into 20 and 2 goes into 6. 2 goes into 20 10 times. 2 goes into 6 3 times. Always reduce a fraction if a number goes into the top and the same number goes into the bottom. That's the end.